guys, it's me, Thriftastic Mom. I am here to do a Walmart grocery haul for you guys today. I decided to put it up on my barn counter this time. Just change it up a little bit, get it off the table, because when it's on the table, it's kind of all piled up. And you can't see the stuff as good, so just changing it up a little bit. But I only went to Walmart this week because I needed to go in there and grab a few things that we were out of to get by, and I'm like, I might as well go ahead and just get groceries while I'm in here and I don't have to come back on Monday or something. So, I went ahead and did that. I spent $161 and some change on everything you're going to see in the video today. So, let's start over here on my bar. I picked up a great value 60 count of the large white eggs. They come in a white box. Got those because I was about, actually I ran out of eggs. I didn't have any eggs for breakfast this morning. Um, I got this uh, 24 bottles of the Great Value Purified Drinking Water. I got a couple of these six packs of diet drinks for me and my husband. I, I noticed these have went up. They're normally $2.50 for six, but now they're like $3 and I think like $3.43 or something like that. So they have went up almost a dollar um, on those. So I got me one Diet Dr. Pepper and I got him one Diet Pepsi. And I got him some cans. I got him five packs of the 12 pack cans and the Diet Sam's Colas. There's all three up here, but I got two more down there in the floor. I didn't want to stack them all up. Because I'm tired after bringing all this stuff in. And it's, it's hot here today. It's like 89 degrees here today. So, um, it's, after I bring all this stuff in, you know, I'm, I'm tired and I'm hot and I'm sweaty. And, and, um, I didn't feel like stacking them all up there. But I did get five of those. I went ahead and picked up this extra. I usually buy this from Dollar General, but since I um, was in there, I went ahead and got it. It was like $5.96. The ones at Dollar General are $5, but this one's got 12 extra loads, so I didn't really mind paying the extra on that. I picked up some of this Suavitel, which I've used before. It's pretty good. I prefer Snuggle, but they only had one big container of Snuggles, and I didn't want to buy the big container of it, so I passed that on that, and I just got this, because this was like two, I'd say 98, something like that, it was under three bucks, so I went ahead and grabbed that, just so I'd have some, because I do got to finish up some laundry today, I picked up my husband some more of this great Picante saw, now, he didn't ever go through the other one, because it was just too hot for him, I accidentally got the medium, he tried to eat about half of it, but he's like, this is just too hot, because he don't eat hot stuff like he used to. So I made sure I got one today and um, made sure that it was mild. <laughs> this is a 70 ounce container and it's cheaper than buying, you know, a couple of them little jars. So I just go ahead and get the big one like that. Okay, then over here, I have laid out the rest of my groceries. And let me show you what I got. I picked up this... 38 ounce great value ketchup and this was actually only a dollar that was a pretty good big big size bottle for a dollar i went ahead and got some great value zesty italian dressing we haven't had any zesty italian dressing in a while and this one actually looks pretty good it's kind of like creamy looking so got that that's good for marinades and to put on salad uh picked up a pack of these pork chops. These were $6.92. Product of USA, hand selected and hand trimmed. That's got the bones in them. So I picked up a pack of those. I do still have some pork chops in the freezer, but I went ahead and got some when I could. I picked up this Smithfield um, Extra Tender, Extra Meaty Baby Back Ribs. These were $11.55. So I picked up a pack of those just to change it up and have something different. We haven't had ribs in a long time. Something that I don't buy, you know, on a, like a bi-weekly or even monthly <laughs> um, grocery haul. But so every now and then I pick them up and we have them. I wanted some steaks, but the steaks were like two for $24 today. So didn't get any of those. Maybe I'll have to go to save a lot and <laughs> get some steaks. Um, I picked up this little pack of Lando Frost roast beef. This is the 10 ounce package. It's pretty good roast beef. My husband will take that to lunch. I picked up this big pack of Great Value Black Forest Ham. 
And this is 97% fat free, 32 ounces. It's a pretty big pack of ham. So you'll use that for lunches. I picked up two of these Carolina Pride thick sliced bacons because this was actually the cheapest bacon they had, which was three dollars and something a pack. So I went ahead and got that just because it was the cheapest bacon they had. The rest of them were over four dollars. I picked up some of these chicken thigh fillets. My husband likes these when they don't have the bones in them. He'll eat them either way, but he really likes these. Um, so I went ahead and got some of these. These are from Purdue Harvest Land. And they were $4.78. Looks like there's about five of them in there. I picked up some of these round ground beefs. And I don't even know how much these were. It didn't have a price. I just grabbed some of them. They had other ground beef, but the meats has really went up. I guess because it's on high demand. So I just grabbed a couple of these. It's easy just to know that they're a pound each. And most things that I cook with hamburger meat... I only need about that much meat, you know, maybe a pound. So it keeps me from having to break it down and weigh it out for certain meals or anything. So it's just easy to grab them like that, just one pound rolls. So I grabbed me three of those, and they sell something similar to this at Dollar General. And there, theirs are $3 a roll at Dollar General. And they're good. I use, I've used them plenty of times, especially when I couldn't get no hamburger meat at Walmart or somewhere. Uh, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look at my receipt. I'll look at my receipt and I'll put it in this video up here somewhere of how much these rolls were because I don't even know. I got this big roll of Jimmy Dean again. Sausage. I love my Jimmy Dean sausage. I got one pack of the Guatney Great, Great Dogs. My husband likes to just throw these in the microwave on a plate and dip them in ketchup sometimes. Sometimes he'll eat them on bread, whatever. So they're kind of like a snack for him when he's wanting something because if you notice in most of my grocery hauls, I don't buy a lot of uh, like canned goods, you know, stuff that he could just pop up, like spaghetti and meatballs, stuff like that. Sometimes, every now and then, I'll buy stuff like that. But for the most part, I just buy stuff that to cook dinners with, breakfast with, and, and his lunch stuff. And, um, you know, a little bit of chips or something for him on the side. I very seldom buy up a bunch of just junk stuff. Uh, got a English cucumber. I got some of these little beef smokies. I like to wrap these in bacon and eat them, so I thought maybe we would have these for dinner one night. Because we're trying to mostly do, like, meats and a veggie. And lay off some of the potatoes and rice and stuff like that, so, and bread. So, maybe some of these wrapped in bacon with a side. I don't know what yet, but I'll figure that out later. I got some of these uh, Great Value Bacon Flavored Bits. I got two things of cream cheese, um, Van Kent's pork and beans, I got one of those. I got some uh, Great Value sliced pepper jack cheese. I got a Great Value mozzarella cheese, because all my cheeses are getting low, so I wanted to replenish them. The Great Value sharp cheddar cheese, and you can eat that on all kinds of stuff. You know, I use them on salads, hamburger steak, in eggs, whatever. <laughs> um, a jar of pickles. I got a thing of vegetable oil. Now lately my husband has been eating just meat and pickles for lunch. No bread. Because um, he kind of really don't like, you know, his sandwiches sitting around. The bread gets a little soggy because the meat's on it. So he's not a big fan of that because he is a little bit more of a pickier eater than I am. So he's got where he's just... Um, has rolled up ham. I'll roll him up some ham, put him a few pieces of pepperoni in the bowl with the ham, and have another bowl with a couple pickles in it, and that's what he eats for lunch. So that's been working so far, and he hasn't complained about it, so that's a good thing. Um, I got two of these sugar-free whipped heavy creams. I picked up some fresh squash. I picked through and got some little ones that look good. The little ones are better because they're not all full of seeds and stuff. I got two heads of broccoli. I love to make broccoli and cheese. I would love to make a, um, like a pasta, not pasta, but like a broccoli salad. But my husband don't eat stuff like that. So most time I don't make up a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, 2% milk. I love to drink milk, so I always get milk for me. I got two heads of lettuce. We do salads. Sometimes we'll have a BLT. 
for breakfast. That's just on occasion because it, you know, you have to eat bread with BLT. So, but um, I could live off of BLT every morning for breakfast, y'all. I really could. I picked up this uh, American style pasta salad with chicken. I love these little things. Um, I'll probably have this for lunch one day. It comes with bacon ranch dressing. They're really good. It's about, I think it's like three dollars and something for this thing. So I grabbed that kind of for me one day. I got some carrots by Bolthouse Farms. I got some of these uh, red uh, tomatoes on the vine. I got two cans of this Great Value Beef Stew. I got a thing of fish sticks. I got some Margaret Holmes green lima beans. And I picked up these because I've never tried the, her cabbage. Everything else we've eaten of hers is really good really seasoned really good you really don't have to do nothing to it and uh it's so good so i'm like Laura, let's try the cabbage we haven't tried the cabbage yet so i got two cans of those and then i got her uh, seasoned green beans italian green beans i haven't tried those either so i'm pretty much <laughs> been getting nothing but margaret holmes um canned goods lately because they're just so uh full of seasoning and they're just really good you don't have to do nothing to them i love that um, I got a bag of onions because I've been out of onions for probably about four days now. I got some of these Equate Flushable Wipes, three pack. I got some Great Value Nacho Cheese Chips for my hubby. And there's the Great Value Restaurant Style uh, White Corn Tortilla Chips to go with his salsa. Which, half of it's air, so I'm buying half a bag of that. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything that I got, guys. It ain't as pretty as it was because I've kind of moved it all around. But uh, that's everything I got this week. And like I say, it was 161 and some change. I'll put the total in here where you can see what I paid for it. And uh, I can't put the pictures at the end because I didn't use Walmart pickup. I've been kind of staying away from Walmart pickup right now because, um, you know, the shortages of groceries and... They'll give you whatever. You know, if you don't put on there that you don't want it, they will substitute it. And normally I don't mind that, but there's certain things that I don't want substituted. And I don't want to get, you know, go pick up a Walmart grocery haul and only have half my stuff and end up going to another grocery store. So I figure it's best for me to just, like, go in and buy my groceries right now until things get settled down. Uh, I will say that the Walmart today was... Uh, the best stop that I have seen it since all of this stuff has started with the pandemic. Um, so it was really good. No toilet paper, but still every, everything else, they had a good amount of meat. It wasn't full, but they did have a good amount of meat in there. So I pretty much got everything that I wanted. There's one thing they was out of that I didn't get. But I pretty much got everything that I wanted today, so I'm happy with that. I set pepperonis. I forgot to get pepperonis to put in my husband's lunch, but I'll pick some of those up later. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed seeing my grocery haul. If you did, y'all give me a big thumbs up. Leave me some comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for always being supportive of me and watching my channel. I really appreciate you watching. If you are not subscribed, hit that bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. And subscribe. You know, if you don't like grocery hauls, you might find something else you like. If you're watching it, obviously you want, you like grocery hauls. So. But I do other things too, so you can always find a little variety of stuff on my channel to watch. So I hope you all have a wonderful week coming ahead, and I'll see you in my next video. God bless. Bye.